CFA Nation, Gabe, and I'm here today to bring you another installment of R3 Wicked, Survivor Sunday Edition, because right off the bat, I'm going to tell you right now, the Rajasthan Royals survived. This was it for them. This was it. If they lost this one, the season was over. There was no coming back, but they survived, okay? And guess who didn't survive? Their opponent, the Sunrisers. It's over for them. Hide your bat, pack it up. Your one is, it's over. It's over. Now, the story, the main story of this match was that David Warner got dropped. Kane Williamson is captain. They, and, and David Warner wasn't even in the side, okay? They moved on from David Warner. Don't be surprised if you don't see him at all this year, again this year, because I guarantee you he's not going to be here next year, right? It, it, it's just that simple. Mega auction going on, and you're not going to keep the guy you just dropped as your captain, at least not in my opinion. But, you know, the... the the, the the captaincy decisions he made earlier this year from, you know, choosing the bat first just because instead of chasing when everybody else is chasing. And you know that chasing makes sense because there's going to be due uh, uh, in the later innings to just some of the bowling changes, refusing to bring in Holder, refusing to bring in Kane Williamson earlier on. You know, there's just a lot of turmoil there. But to make a long story short, they finally went a different direction, went with Kane Williamson, and this was his debut as captain. It could have been worse, all right? He could have gone out on a duck. But, man, that's uh, that's where I'm going to start, okay? What did I hate? I hate that this team made the change and still lost because they're a flawed team. It's not all Warner's fault. You got – honestly, you've got uh, 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 um, Rashid Khan, who you can count on every single game to bowl for you. You know, they opted to bowl, for, to bowl first, okay, and, and, and chase, and they weren't able to do it. They weren't able to do it because this team is just unbalanced. There's too light, all right? I'm going to start off with what I hated. All right, first and foremost, why break Muhammad Nabi? 15, I mean, uh, let me get this. Right. Yeah, 17 off five, 17 off five, 340 strike rate. Okay, that's not bad. Bowling, one for 21. That's your old rounder? That's what you got him in there for? That, that, that That's what this guy's eating up a roster spot for? Stop it. Stop it. I don't blame Kane for today. I mean, he can't get any help. He can't get any help. All right, VJ Shankar, he is terrible. He is absolutely terrible. Eight on eight, 100 strike rate, all right? Uh, a bowled out by Chris Morris on a beautiful ball. And then on top of that, one for 12. Oh, I mean, uh, that the Nabi had was one for 21. Excuse me, Nabi one for 21. VJ Shankar was atrocious as well. Three for 42, 14 economy rate. You give him another uh, uh, um, over. He gonna, he's going to get hootied for sure. So we're going to give him the honorary hootie. Hootie. Oh, it was so bad. And the bowling. Finally, uh, what else? Shandeep uh, uh, Sharma, four for 50. Hootie. That's not an honorary hootie. That's an actual hootie. The bowling was atrocious. They had no answer for Josh Butler. They couldn't get him out. They couldn't get him out. 124 for Josh Butler today. We'll talk about that when we talk about what I did like on the on the Rod just on roll side. But it was just bad. I hated that as far as the the Sunrisers go. Their bats, all right. I already I said Bearstow was probably gonna have a good game, and he did. 150 strike rate, uh, 142, but basically 150 strike rate, 30 off 21. Manish Pandey, 31 off 20. And those numbers would be good if other guys did their job, but other guys didn't do their job. They didn't do their job, all right? Kane Williamson, you're the captain. 20 for 21, all right? You are going at a ball, uh, 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 basically a, a runner ball, right? And then when you try to accelerate, you immediately smash it um, to who ended up catching it? Uh, Tyge, right? Um, no, no, I'm sorry. Chris Morris, He he Tyge bowled it. And Chris Morris caught it, and you're out. The minute he tried to accelerate, I mean, this is not the start you want as the captain, Kane Williamson. And, and, you know, it is what it is. You can just see the disappointment on his face when he got himself out. Other than that, like I said, the, the rest of the batting was just putrid. It was bad. This team is unbalanced, and they've got to make some changes in the uh, mega auction. All right? What did I not like? What did I not like on the Rajasthan Royal side? Well, right off the bat, I'm going to say – you know, some bowlers got pumped, obviously. A couple bowlers got pumped. And if you're going to get pumped, you got to get me some wickets. I love this guy. This is Nick's guy. He loves him some Tawadia. But Tawadia, four for 45, one wicket. That 11-20 economy rate, you cannot be given more than 10 runs and over, all right? You can't do it. 
And I did not, I mean, it, that's just bad. It's bad, 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 bad. All right. On the batting side, I got to say, you know, uh, Jice Wall's getting the opportunity. This was my, and I was happy with his performance last time, but Jice Wall was my uh, emerging player. Right now, you've got a chance to solidify yourself as the opening part uh, um, guy here. You got to give me better than a 12 for 13 on a 92 strike rate. Jice Wall, I believe in you. I talked about your story, about how you were a street vendor last year. You were my emerging player. You got to snatch this opportunity and, and not give it up, and not give it up. Jice Wall, please come through. Now, what did I like about this match? I'm going to start with the winners, the victors, Rajasthan Royals. They could have easily closed up shop and said, guys, it's done. All right. We lost, we lost Stokes game one. All right. We lost uh, Smudge. We let him go. We lost Smudge before the season even started and we traded Utapa. Then we lose Livingston, right? COVID fatigue, uh, whatever. And, and, and it's just a, 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 a rookie captain. I'm so impressed the way Sam Drew Sampson has con conducted himself and literally got this team in fifth place after this match today. I had picked them to be the winning spoon winners. I was wrong. I was wrong, 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 wrong. I'm eating crow as usual. you got to be kidding me. Sam Drew Sampson did an amazing job today. Sam Drew Sampson tried to lead his team and did so to a victory, 48 on 33. That's a 145 strike rate. And he was there. He gave Josh Butler that partnership that Butler needed to have this magnificent inning, okay? And, and that was what else I like. Josh, Josh Butler, 124. Uh, 124 runs, 64 strike rate. That's 193. So he not only did he score 124 runs, but on a 193 strike rate, that's almost a 200 strike rate. He was a man possessed. His first century uh, of the IPL. And Matt, he put in work. Nick, congratulations, by the way. Nick called him that yesterday as his mush pick. No mush today, cousin. He put in work. We will call him Nick the Nick the Domus, Nick the Domus, Nostradamus, Nick the Domus, something like that, something to that effect. But he is the Swami, and he knows all things. All right. On the bowling side, I I, I continue to say that this team needs a little bit more bowling. They need to be able to guys to get wickets and step up. And today we saw that. First and foremost, Chris Morris, four overs, twenty nine runs, three wickets, seven twenty economy rate. That's what it's gonna take. We need you to be that all rounder we paid for, Chris Morris. And today he was and got himself some huge wickets. Mustafar, a uh, uh, Rockman, four for 20, three wickets, five economy rate. That's impressive. That's impressive. And Ty Gee, remember, I remember seeing him last year. He went four for 32, one wicket. I'll take it, all right? Again, the only guy that got my guy, Sakuraya, did not get a wicket today, but he still had a low economy rate. Below 10, right? 30. I, that's what I asked for, four for 38. But, man. Collectively, the bowling did their job today and did just enough to win. What did I learn about this match? I learned I was wrong. First and foremost, uh, Rajasthan Royals, in my opinion, will not be the wooden spoon, win wooden spoon winner because that honor is going to go to, in my opinion, KKR or, and I'm a KKR fan, guys, but it's a nightmare over there right now. It's, 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 the inmates are running the asylum. All right. It's it's mutiny. It's oh my gosh, it's so bad. So bad over there right now. And this right over here. Okay. This team was constructed poorly. Too many overseas players, not enough spots, not a enough uh 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 um uh, Indian talent that's gonna help you win games. And right now, honestly, I think the ideal thing would be to bring Saha in as the wicket keeper, right? Bearso's been your best bat. But, you know, I don't know what they're going to do. I doubt they bring back uh, David Warner. Like I said, I don't see this team finishing a much above six or seven. But I have been wrong in the past. That is what I learned. Now, on to game number two. On to game number two. And this one was a thriller. This one was a thriller. I was so, I mean, I'm watching this game live and I'm thinking to myself, this is insane. So here's the thing. All right, guys. And, and honestly, as I'm watching this game to myself, I'm thinking, you know, first and foremost, my thoughts and prayers go out to K.O. Raul, speedy recovery. We, As soon as I wake up, I hear K.O. Raul out of the IPL, emergency appendicitis. That is nothing nice. He's going to be down for at least four to six weeks with that surgery. And I mean, that's it. That's the IPL, right? And, and uh, he's out of the COVID bubble any which way. So this team, the Kings, Punjab Kings just took a major blow. So I expected somebody to step up in his place, and the call was made. I expected Milan to step up in his place. They bought in Milan. Now, did he step up in his, in his place? 
We'll find out. But basically, you got an unbelievable performance put up by Mayak Argawal, and it wasn't enough. DC won this game easily, showed why they're the class, showed why they're up there with CSK. Probably, in my opinion, they're the second, if not the first, uh, the best team in the league behind CSK. And then, of course, RCB. We saw them by Indians yesterday, though, so we know that they're still coming. But DC was deep and ended up winning this by seven wickets easily and, and, and Man, it's it's so impressive. So what do we want to talk about? Well, I'm going to start with what I with what I liked, okay? Mayank Argawal. Captain goes down. Mayank Argawal is, is part of the opening per, uh, partnership normally. 99 not out. 99 not out. He deserved 100. This guy played the innings of his life, 170 strike rate. You know, he just needed a little bit more help from the rest of his teammates and unfortunately did not get it, all right? Mayank Argawal put in work. I, I'm going to say right now, that's all I liked because every other batsman, nobody really sustained anything. And even though Milan had the second highest score on his debut, 26 on 26, that's a hundred strike rate. That's not going to get it done. Not when you're replacing KO Raul. All right. So for me, that's what I like as far as the batting is concerned for the Kings, the bowling, the bowling as usual, you know, you've got uh, uh, some great performances. Harpreet Brad does it again. He's not a fluke guys. Three overs, uh, 12, 19 runs, and got himself a wicket. The, it is not false. He got Prithvi Shaw, who was hot. He's been hot this year. He cooled him right down. And his first four wickets are Coley, uh, 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 Maxwell, A.B. De Villiers, and uh, uh, <laughs> today Prithvi Shaw. That's pretty impressive, guys. That's pretty impressive. Also, Riley Meredith. Kept himself under a 10 economy rate, 3.4 overs, 35 runs. Got himself a wicket, 950 economy rate. If he can do that, he can be, you know, people saying he's the future of Australian cricket. He's also going to be the future of this side uh, on the Kings because they need a legit pacer. Finally, Chris Jordan, let me give him some love. Two overs, 21 runs, got himself a wicket, did not get pumped, got himself a big wicket, and that crushes me because you guys know I love to hate on some Chris Jordan. But today, he did his job. It is not his fault that the team was not able to win. Like I said, the batting, the sticks, let them down. I mean, think about it. One guy got you 100, right? 99. The other, uh, let me see, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven guys that batted only combined for 66 runs. They gave you less than 10 runs a person. That can't happen. That can't happen. That's atrocious batting. That is atrocious batting. Now, now, what I want to talk about is what I liked on the DC side. On the DC side. Let me start with a uh, 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 Shikha Darwin. Shikha Darwin is one of the most consistent batters in T20 in the IPL. This guy's a former Orange Cap winner. 69 off 47. That's a 146 strike rate. The guy put in work. No out. Not out, by the way. 69, not out. Pritby Shaw, 39 on 22. Yes, got the mid- dismissed by Harpreet Brad. Bowled out. That was a beautiful ball. It had some drift to it, right? Because he, he spun it. And the turn, the drift, whatever you want to call it, came right back around the bat. He had no chance. I can't even fault Shaw for getting dismissed that way. It was a beautiful uh, a ball uh, um, by Brad, all right? Steve Smith, 24 off 22. He does something that's very interesting. He comes in and he doesn't put up a huge strike rate, but he's consistent. And he goes in there and scores and lets everybody else around him, you know, play more loosely. That way they're not falling, worrying about too many wickets falling. And I think it's a benefit to the side. All right. I do. I do think that's a benefit to the side. You know, finally, I want to talk about Sherman Hitmeyer because he's closed out two games in a row where he just goes banana in the death. I think they he's got to be a part of this side. You bring him in, 400 strike rate, 16 runs off four balls. I repeat, 16 runs off four balls, 400 strike rate. That's the thing of beauty. That's the thing of beauty. Man, Sherman Hitmeyer, you sexy man, you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I wish he batted higher up in the order so I could put him in my side as a fantasy stud. Now, on the bowling side, you know, we were talking about the fact that 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 Rabada wasn't right. Rabada wasn't right. Well, Rabada got himself right today. Three wickets. Now I know what you guys are gonna say. Well, Gabe, some of those wickets came in the death garbage time. Doesn't matter. That's what he did last year. That's why he was a ca- uh, 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 the uh, the purple cap winner last year. He needs to get wickets because he's always, especially this year, he's at about a nine strike uh, uh, economy rate. But today he did that and got those wickets. Avish Khan. 
four overs, 39 runs, got himself a wicket. You know, he's consistent, gets them the wickets for him. I'll take it. And finally, Axar Patel, four for 21, got himself a wicket, 520 economy rate for a fast bowler. I love Axar Patel. He's a spinner, right? But he's a, a, a fast spinner like Rashid Khan. I do believe he's one of the best other than uh, uh, Ashwin um, spinners on the Indian side. And even though Ashwin's not here, I think they're deep enough with Axar Patel. Now, my dislikes. What did I dislike? First and foremost, I got to go ahead and say it right now. This side is atrocious. Universe boss let us down. I don't understand why the universe boss wasn't opening. The whole excuse was, well, he can't open because K. Raul opens with Mariank Argawal. So let's put the universe boss at three because he's more comfortable when he starts, when he sees more balls. Then why didn't you open him today? That decision is dumb on my part. I cannot stand it. Prishma. Prishma is given me given two chances already in the opening partnership has not fa- has not succeeded continued to fail I better see the, the universe boss in the next opening partnership because they don't have a choice Kale Raul is gone Prishma's failing fix it all right fix it David Milan I'm disappointed 26 on 26 you, I've been hearing about you're the top T20 player in the world unacceptable 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 don't like it I mean Hope you right now you can prove who you are. The rest of this tournament, the next seven games, you need to prove who you are so you can make some of that big money, some of that Patty Cummings money, some of that Glenn Maxwell money in the next mega auction. So Milan, you're you're served right now. Okay, you're on notice. You're being put on notice. You better perform because I believe in you. Deepak Huda threw his wicket away. It was a epic batting collapse or collapse, right? Deepak Huda gone on on one, on one ball, one ball, one run. That is unacceptable. Uh, SRK, you're an all-rounder, four runs, five wicket. I mean, four balls, five runs, uh, whatever. It's it's brutal. Trash. Tra- this team's in trouble. This team's in trouble. Why? Because they've relied on they've relied on Kale Raul so long, along with Mayak Gargawal at the top of this order. Now that they don't have him, they better pray Peron fires. They better pray uh, um, that Milan plays well because they are an absolute it, – it's bad. They're in a bad place right now. Now, on the other side, what did I dislike? What did I dislike? I'm going to go out and say it right now. I don't understand continuing to leave Norkia out of the side, okay? Yes, your bowling was fine today. Nobody really got pumped. I get that. But you're going to need Norkia, okay, to face, especially when you're on those flatter pitches. You're going to need Norkia when you're facing the Mumbai's of the world, when you're facing RCB, when you're facing Chennai. What are you doing? When are they going to bring them in, all right? In the middle of the tournament? If the middle of the tournament's done, all right? Seven games in? You, no. Did they wait it too long? I think that this is a strategic mistake. They're intentionally keeping them out because they want to have both Steve Smith in there along with uh, – um, Steve Smith in there along with Hitmeyer. And I understand that they both bring their positives to the team. It, team, if that's the case, you already got an all-rounder in XR Patel, then don't play Stoinis. But you got to have, in my opinion, you got to have a, a Norkia and Rabada. That was your success last year, your secret to success. That's going to be your secret to success this year. He gets winning wickets in the opening overs in the in the power play, and that's what you need to make sure other teams don't get a good start. So I do not like that. What did I learn? What did I learn? Well, I learned that one pl- uh, one one player can mean so much to a team. All right, this team right away, you could tell Mayak Argoal did everything, but it was it was for not. All right, guys, it was for not. All right, it, it, 99 not out, and they lost by seven wickets. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close, all right? They need Kero, and he's gone. So right now, this team needs to understand that for going into the next uh, mega auction, you cannot build your team just around two guys because if those guys don't fire or if somebody gets hurt, you're in trouble. You're done. Look at the successful teams this year. Okay, in the IPL, CSK, they've had five different man of the matches, five different guys, because it doesn't matter if one fails, there's another guy that can pick it up. All right, same thing with uh, 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 Mumbai Indians. It's, it's Mumbai, Mumbai Indians are so deep that Quentin DeCock only has fired once this year, and this team is one. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, they are collectively a, a, a good squad because they pick each other up because they, they pick each other up. And I would say the same thing for RCB, even though they're top heavy, right? Their first four or five, but at least it's four or five. They've won games after Coley got dismissed early, after Patico got dismissed early, even after uh, um, 
uh, Maxwell got dismissed early because they've got um, ABD. But you cannot, de- 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 you know, depend on basically K.O. Raul, Mayak Argawal, and the universe boss. It's just not going to work. It's not going to work. So this team is too dependent on two players and or, or three players, I should say. That that's no bueno. That's no bueno. They need to fix it. So this is what everybody comes here for. It's that time of the day again. It's that time of the day again. Oh, oh you guys. You guys know it. My mush picks for tomorrow. My mush picks for tomorrow. Now, we're playing in Ahmedabad. I'm rooting for KKR, of course. That's the mistress. But unfortunately, I, I've got to go with RCB. I believe they're going to win. Right now, KKR is just in a bad way. There's so much turmoil going on over there. Things aren't settled. I mean, this whole Owen Morgan and, and Russell... Uh, uh, um strife that's going on it's just it's tearing that locker room apart you know McCullum even came out throwing throwing players under the bus saying oh yeah these guys just aren't listening they're not following directions it's it's bad it's a it's a dumpster fire over there and they just need this 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 year to end there's still a lot of talent over there still a lot of talent over there but for me who do I think is going to be the guy to step up this match after the debacle that was the last match okay I believe that this is going to be time for one King Coley to step up. That's right. Barack Coley needs to step up. He needs to take this team on his back, get back into winning ways. I believe they lost two in a row. You know, they need to get out of this slump, break it. You can't leave. You can't have ABD batting in the 10th over. You can't. All right. You can't have him batting before the 10th over. You've got to uh, sustain a, or have a sustainable opening partnership. And that's what I'm looking forward to tomorrow. A sustainable opening partnership with both Patico and Barack Coley. But my pick for tomorrow, King Coley. Well, guys, that's it for me here today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, that's six runs.